this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica what is your skin color there might be an easy answer for sure like brown black white or yellow but think deeper ones first thought which might come in your mind about color is white or black really is that so ask yourself once again if you put your hand on a blank piece of black or white paper does your skin still look white or black or does it appear more tan or brown just by looking at the initial appearance of a person can you tell from which specific country a person belongs you will look at their hair clothes or face shape and then you can attempt to make a guess at their country of origin before you talk to them there is a substantial variation in some human traits right like hair color eye color height weight skin color build and etc however variation is observed within other species also have you ever wondered why people differ in looks why are people all different colors what makes a skin different colors why traits vary so much so does the difference have a purpose in itself did we evolve to vary in appearance and what is the purpose of this variation hello everyone welcome to yet another interesting episode of podcast voice of biotechnology your today's voice is dr ankita and i'm going to share some fascinating facts regarding something that each one of you question to yourself on a daily basis any guesses okay why i am so dark why i have thin hairs how i can look smart and more beautiful today's topic of my talk is this only why people from different countries differ in looks people come in all shades of different colors and traits why is that firstly there is the selectionist view long ago it was noticed that people from different parts of the world often had different skin colors all you must have noticed that right tropic people usually had darker skin than people who lived in colder climates over time scientists learned that variations in skin color appeared to be adaptive traits that passed through genes from parents to their offspring and you know what these traits corresponded closely with geography and the sun's ultraviolet radiation therefore we can say most traits or demographic patterns of variations exist for some kind of purpose right for example why do scandinavians tend to have blonde hair blonde hair might be offering some kind of advantage over the other hair colors either a naturally or sexually selected advantage secondly there is a neutralist view scientists known as moto kimoro proposed the natural theory in the 1960s according to him most variation in traits have evolved by natural processes great no neutralist would urge that the demographic variance we see in humans and of course within animal species also is mainly due to the random genetic drift for example scandinavians might be blonde because the humans that colonized scandinavia were coincidentally blonde 
in a nutshell it can be said that human variability is attributed to a combination of environmental and genetic resources if i say that facial recognition plays a key role in human interactions it will be not wrong right there has been a great interest in understanding the evolution of human abilities for individual recognition and tracking social relationships right nevertheless the other race effect is a well established phenomenon that we have known about for a hundred years all asiatics look alike while to the asiatics all the white men look alike why does this happen the reason can be simple as we have more experience of members of our own race and so we find it very easy to remember their faces or other races are generally perceived to have fewer unique personal attributes and therefore to have more in common with one another don't you think these justifications are in mutually exclusive let us consider an example of three nationalities japan korea and china people from all the three areas look similar or you can say they look alike right can you differentiate among people easily no but today i will tell you some of the differences among people from these areas how they differ from each other in their looks all the differences are based on cultural as well as natural characteristics these three nationalities are all very different in their origins which lends weight to the assertion that although they share some traits they are very different from each other japanese have largely originated from south east asia and indonesia in china different minorities mix different genetics it consists of minorities with influence from the middle east russia and mongolia appearances also vary depending on the respective area of china lastly if we talk about korean people early settlements in south china and taiwan can be considered as their point of origin languages of these countries are totally different in addition to their origin so simply it can be accepted that their appearances have differences too or we can say that people from different countries differ in their looks as well as in their appearances though people from china japan and korea share similarities in their skin type and body shape people may look somewhat similar but you can easily notice some real and huge differences in their facial features right like what longer and wide face is seen in japan prominent jaw and higher cheekbones in korean people while the chinese have a rounder face there is a difference in their windows of the soul which we called as eyes also bigger and angled downwards in japanese angled upward eyes in chinese and smaller eyes in koreans apart from these features they differ in dressing style and makeup too which adds extra differences in their overall looks okay 
Now do you think only above mentioned reasons can be the only cause for the differences in looks of people living in different places or countries? I missed one important fact. I have had the privilege of traveling around some important parts of the world and experienced different cultures. It was very interesting and fascinating to me and at the same time surprising too. There are certain standards of beauty around the world. Different rituals are followed in various countries that make people belonging to different parts differ in their looks. Interesting, right? You all know and it's easy to see that beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. Even if certain beauty practices may seem truly odd. For example, in Bali, women have filed pointy teeth and large feet. Lip and ear stretching rituals are seen in some parts of Africa and South America. Different parts of the world and countries follow certain rituals and practices for developing their own and unique personality or you can say appearances or looks. Being uniquely you is beautiful in all cultures. Therefore, it doesn't matter from where you come from, no matter what's your culture, you should remember one thing, what makes you as a human especially beautiful and attractive is your ability to be unique and special. People differ from each other is obvious, right? Thoughts, feelings or behavior of an individual is not coded by genes. Rather, genes code for proteins that modulate and regulate biological system. That's it. Several studies and reports suggested that specific alleles are related to specific personality traits. Hence, it can be concluded and accepted that difference in traits are under polygenic influence and are moderated by environmental experience. As of now, you all could be a super recognizer. You all have that powerful ability to minutely identify barely glimpsed human faces. With this particular note, I would like to end my talk with you all. Stop cursing yourself for your looks. You can't change them now, right? Though look matters, try to be just you. Every individual is different in some or the other way. Right? Keep tuned in for another interesting episode of Voice of Biotechnica podcast. Thanks.